Welcome to our Year 1 presentation assembly for 2021. My name is Lila and along with Riley we are your hosts for today. My name is Riley. I would now like to invite Riley to acknowledge country. <coughs> Warmi. Warmi. My name is Riley. I would like to, to acknowledge the country that the land, water and sky where I learn each day belongs to the Dharug people. Every day the children, staff and community at York Public School learn together. We are grateful to the Dharug elders, past, present and respect that their history, culture and language have shaped this place. The future of Dharug Nation is in good hands as we strive to preserve the history, culture and languages of the First Nations people through developing knowledge, understanding, tolerance, strength, love and kindness in that, all that we do. Did you grow up? Thank you, Riley. Please stand for the playing of the York School song. Please remember there is no singing. Thank you. Please sit quietly. I would now like to introduce our principal, Miss Robin, Miss Robbins, to address the assembly. Thank you, Riley. Well, this is um, a very different type of presentation day to what we normally have. Usually, now we would be at Jemison High School which is twice the size of this hall, and we would have um, all, of, all of infants in there, all the teachers, and all of our parents, grandparents, aunties, everyone seems to come along to these events. But unfortunately today, it's just us and, um, well, just us. <laughs> I was gonna say us and the teachers, but yeah. Okay. Um, Welcome teachers and students to our 2021 presentation day. I extend a warm welcome to everyone watching from home. Well, what a year it was. Little did we know that your parents would become the teachers for nearly half of a year. And what a tremendous job your parents did as teachers. We usually take this opportunity at the end of the year to thank our teachers. But this year, I need to thank the parents and teachers alike. Thank you for being so creative, inventive, resourceful, patient, caring, resilient, and most of all, keeping it together under extremely stressful times with high anxiety everywhere. Our year one teachers were amazing. They worked tirelessly from home each day and even became Uber drivers, delivering our learning packs to the students who couldn't access technology. They really did go above and beyond. They say it takes a village to raise a child. I think this year, more than any other year in recent history, this saying is true. Teachers and parents came together to keep our students learning in difficult times and we all succeeded. On a brighter note, we are looking at ways to improve our school inside and outside of the classroom. And I'm pleased to announce that next year we are installing a super-sized sandpit next, next to our play equipment and lots more seating areas in the playground, not just for quiet spaces when you're at lunch, but for also teachers to take the learning outside. The Year 1 students of 2021 have proven to be our most resilient learners yet. 
Thank you for being a wonderful cohort. I wish you all the best as you move on to year two next year, and let's hope that 2022 is a lot brighter for all of us. Thank you, Ms. Robbins. Our first awards are for classroom performance. Class teachers will announce their award recipients for academic excellence, outstanding application and citizenship. Ms. Dankerman, would you please come to the stage to announce the class awards for the year one in 1S? Okay, so my Academic Achievement Award for 2021 goes to Ryan Brown. The Outstanding Application Award goes to Charlie Zimbanellis. Thomas Footed. And Olivia Holmes. And my Citizenship Award goes to Charlotte Delph. <laughs> and Indira Atley. Congratulations, 1S award winners. Thank you, Miss Stankovic. Our next class is 1K, and I would like to invite Miss Kuma to the stage to announce her class awards. Okay, um, my Academic Achievement Award for 2021 goes to Isla Fawcett. <laughs> um, my Outstanding Application Awards go to Raiden Higgs. to Braith Belford. Braith, yes. <laughs> and to Nevea Gorman. My citizenship awards go to Annabelle Ola. to Tynan Brown. <laughs> Can we give all these amazing learners a big round of applause? to the stage to announce class awards for students in Manji. It's a little too low. Okay. So, for 1G, our Academic Achievement Award 
goes to Amber Bradshaw. <laughs> For outstanding application, we have Hayley Ravel. <laughs> Oliver Broom. <laughs> and Harper Nickel. And for 1G Citizenship Awards, Matilda Lavelle Kemp. And Chase Mitchell. Please give them a lovely round of applause. Well done, guys. Thank you, Ms. Ginn. That concludes the Year One Awards. Could you please stand for the playing of the National Anthem? Please sit quietly. Parents and friends of York, thank you for supporting through this difficult year. We wish you a peaceful and joyous Christmas. Students, please listen to your teacher's instructions. <laughs> 